how it began. Like, how did you become so successful? Hi. Should I introduce myself? Who are you? Okay. Hi, Stacy Karn Stricker here, United Country, Oklahoma Sunset Realty and Auctions. Um, we're based out of Elk City, Oklahoma. So this is exciting. Caden, our marketing manager, came up with an idea and here we are. He wants to us to do a YouTube about success and how I went from agent to broker. So I've been in this side of the industry since 07 and that's when I moved to Elk City and prior to this I did property management for 11 years um, in very large markets Oklahoma City Dallas Edmond and this is the smallest community I've ever lived in so um, started out like I said as a realtor here moved here because I got married and only knew um, this is I'm not married to him anymore. So my ex-husband at the time only knew him and his family. So I really had to start my business from the ground up. And it was very difficult. And and if you think about, if you're familiar with the market in 07. The National Association of Realtors reported the worst month-to-month -month drop in existing home sales since they started keeping track in the late 90s. And compared to last year, closings are down more than 25%. This is when the decline happened. Um, the mortgage industry was declining. Um, it was a very tough time to get started. So I didn't know what it was like to get into a business of one, already having a sphere of people, and two, being in um, a strong market. So it was challenging from the get-go. What I did have is I had United Country um, as a huge tool and then my broker, Wayne Wilson at the time and his wife, Jean, who pretty amazing people. So what I did at the time, floor time was a big deal. We did not have um, the, we had subscribed to the MLS, but where we live, people weren't really actively using it. So all of our listings were in a book. So I would go through the book, and again, I was new to Elk City, so I didn't know the area, um, and I would drive around, and I would sit in the office and listen and try to get leads coming in what was called floor time. So when you get into real estate in a brand new market, in all honesty, it took me about three years to get a steady flow um, where I was getting a steady flow of income. So. That first three years, I didn't just sit there and wait for business to fall in my lap because that's not how real estate's going to work. I hustled. So I was on United Country's um, website and it did give us tools of things to do. Well, I went through all of those tools and I worked it. I worked for sell by owners. I worked expired listings, um, all of that. And that's how I started out and that's how I got my listings. My very first listing was a for sale by owner. I went by the house, I took pictures of it, and then I would send a flyer saying who I am and I would put a picture of their house on it and talk about how I could sell it. Well, so I'm actually out um, in front of the house taking a picture and the guy comes out. He's like, hi, can I help you? So funny story, um, his name was Guy. And Guy liked to drink a lot. And he had a giant dog that came right to my crotch. So he's like, come on in. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like all excited. I go in, dog wants to just start sniffing my butt and crotch. So this is so awkward. I'm like trying to push this, push the dog away, not knowing, this is my first interaction with Guy. He doesn't live here anymore, and this was years ago, so I'm going to say this. He was drunk. Like, every interaction, this was the most difficult home I had ever sold. Be then I learned quickly I had to talk to Guy before noon because he wasn't drunk yet. Yet, afternoon interactions were difficult. But anyway, got the listing from that. That's another story that I'll share with you guys later. Then another thing I worked was out-of-state landowners. And so when I share these stories with um, new agents coming in our office, I'm like, hey, this works, this works. It still works today. So I got my first land listing by working out-of-state landowners and double-sided that transaction. And then that client that bought that um, 
piece of land from me has continued to be a client. So these things work. So anyway, how I went from agent to broker was just continue to work hard. I really thought I don't want to be a broker when I started out in this business because when I moved here after being in property management, I was a supervisor and all of that. I didn't want to be responsible for people anymore. I really enjoyed just selling and getting to know people and I really loved it. I still love it. Um, but it kind of came to a point where I felt like that tug and it was time to be, to step up and do that. So I went to my broker and um, said, hey, what I'm thinking about my broker's license and you know, I'd like to purchase the office from you. And he said, well, Stacy, I've been waiting for you to come to me and do that. So he was great. He was a great mentor um, the entire time I worked with him. I, I, I feel like I learned from the best. And so, you know, it, it, you know, it can be intimidating to want to go to that point, but if that's something you want to do, you need to talk to your broker about it um, because he wanted me to be successful as well. And as brokers, we don't want to do this forever. So he had an exit plan and we talk about that. What's our exit plan? Like we eventually want to sell our business. Um, and so there's ways that you can do that. And of course we would want to sell it to somebody that works for us. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a brokerage, who can you learn from and who can you grow from? And if that's your goal, that's what you need to think about as well when you're interviewing a brokerage. Can this person help me get to that goal? It's not all about your split. So I learned a lot from him. Um, it wasn't just all about the leads, and but he took the time to, to talk to me and help me grow and develop. So being a broker is definitely something that is achievable and all of that. Anything else? Is that good? <laughs>